Hey what's going on guys, this is Always back with another tutorial. This video is going to be a bit longer because I'm gonna try and covering a lot of stuff in this video. So let me tell you what I'm gonna cover in this video. I'm gonna cover designing a symbol with text placeholder, designing attributes, definitions, designing a block with attributes, and then we'll look at tables, how to create them, how to style them, how to style a table's title with text, adding field to table. Alright, so let's look at designing a symbol with text placeholder. So what I want to do, I want to go to my home panel on the ribbon. So let's have a look. Do we have a text layer? So we don't have it. So I'm going to make one. Click on layer properties. Create a new layer. Type text. And we give a color. Just leave that color as white. So just close that. And now I'm gonna make my text color text layer as um, as my default layer. All right, so I'm just gonna zoom in. I'm gonna type here living room, and down here I'm gonna make a rectangle which is going to be a placeholder. So I type text. This is a text command we have in AutoCAD, and down here we got two options. I will discuss them in a moment. So let's talk about the justify. So I click on justify. He here you get a lot of um, alignment options. So I'm gonna select middle center, click that, and now it's gonna ask me select the middle point of the text. So I'll select some arbitrary point here. I'm just gonna eyeball it. All right, and then the height would be about, let's say, that would be 1.5. Yeah, 1.5. Yeah, and I click here. You can type that value as well, but. That's fine. So you can give a rotational angle now. So I'm going to keep that straight. So keep that zero. And now I can type a text. So I'll type living area. Enter, enter. This will finish the command. So now I'm going to use my move command. I'm just going to bring it here. And now I'm going to copy that. I just make a copy about here. And now to edit that text, all you have to do is just double click on it which will go back to text editor and then you can start typing the text again. So I'm going to type room 10 or 1 or 2 enter enter which will finish the command and now I want to just move it a little bit down. Okay so I'll just draw a rectangle by REC command and then I'm just gonna move that here. But I want to justify that in the middle and center. So how can I do that? I can basically draw a line from this point to this point, And then I just move my text. Select from the middle. And then hold down shift key, right click, and select insert. So the insertion point would be about in the middle. Right there. Oops, it went so far. Alright, so justify that by eyeballing it. So let's have a look a few more options in a text command. Let's type text. And then you got this alignment option. You can justify them by left, center, right, align, middle. Just want to show you one uh, fit options here. Let's delete this and then go back to your text. Click on justify. Click on fit. Now it's going to ask you to first base points so I'll select that and then second base one is that one all right and then I press enter and now I can type text with this command with this fit justification what it's gonna do if I keep typing oops if I just keep typing it's gonna keep fitting the text within that area so let's say I wanna type here about so many stuff so I'll type text and I will justify that and use fit select this like this. so I want to type a bigger sentence here so if I use the normal if I don't justify that it's gonna go over the room so I want to keep that so I want to type but room one on one and blah 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 so it's gonna keep justifying that which is really great okay so now let's have a look at the text style command so for that I'm gonna go to my annotation panel and here you got few text styles here. You can click on this manage text style 
and will take you to the text editor so you can set a new you can create a new style type a name mine okay and now double click on this select that and then you can give a font name you can give a font style here you can specify the height and all that stuff so type a text again and go to your style so here you can type mine and we'll select that text style.